Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 Plus tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use interactive notifications. Now, if we were to get a notification, say a text message or an email, you see up at the top I have that banner. If I swipe down on it, I can actually reply to it, meaning that I can interact with it and actually send my friend the message back. Notice I have a voice option up in the top right hand corner and I have my regular keyboard where I can type, I have my predictive type turned on and I can even use my emojis. The only thing that you cannot do in this option is actually send a photo. So if I wanted to actually send a photo to reply to this message, I'd have to open up the messages app. But if I were to actually go ahead and start typing, Notice there's the send button up in the top right hand corner and I can send this to my friend. If for any reason you actually haven't composed the message and you were to tap out of it, it's going to bring you back to the application that we we're actually using. So for this instance, I was on my home screen, but if I was inside of an app, say if I was in the app store or any other app on the phone and I swipe down, it would just bring me back into the application. What's also really cool is it works on the lock screen. So we're going to go ahead and lock our device and show you how it works there. So here we are on the lock screen and if I get a notification sent to me, here it shows up. If I swipe over from right to left, I get that reply option. If I tap reply, I get the same actual notification options here. I can reply with my keyboard and text, send it off, and now if I tap out of it, I'm brought back to the lock screen. Now these interactive notifications work with any app that's been updated to do so. So if it was a mail app and I actually got a mail, I'd be able to swipe down and maybe archive it or delete it or reply to, mark it as read. It really varies upon the applications and what they've been updated to do as far as interactive notifications. But for the most part, you can actually just swipe down in many of them and reply. Now this works in apps say like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, we have Mail, Gmail and other mail services of those sorts. So these are really handy to quickly reply to something without actually having to jump into the app. So that is how interactive notifications work on the iPhone and for more iPhone tips be sure and visit stateoftech.net.